we'll see. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. <laughs> it'll work. Uh, we've been working on the building, talking about the building, what we're going to do with the building, how we're going to build the building, uh, where we're going to get the money to do the building, what it's going to be, a tent, uh, just an overhead, something, some kind of a cover over the top where we can sit and sweat and pray. <laughs> so, uh, some years ago, two or three years ago, uh, a committee consisting of myself, Anya, the uh, architect, Vivian, and maybe a couple other people, we designed, uh, created, Anya designed this beautiful drawing for a gorgeous building that we have dreams of putting on the pad. And uh, time went on and changes happened, things happened, <coughs> the economy went and did some things. And we didn't quite get the money to do that yet. So we had a meeting here, and people gave ideas and all that sort of thing. In the meantime, my resistance is up. You know, I just got into resistance because we had worked so hard on this beautiful drawing. And I saw it, you know, it was gorgeous. I mean, trees painted in the floor and beautiful. I mean, it was stunning. Well, uh, as reality shifts and comes into our hearts, we realize that perhaps that's not going to happen quite that way. So my resistance is still there. I'm still trying to figure out, I think I'll sell everything. I'll go out in the street and I'll somehow get the money. Well, I don't really want to do that. I'd rather go to India or something. You know? <laughs> so a while, uh, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, I was on the phone with Andy, and he, had, he said, no, this is just a suggestion. Of course, this is how he works me. I want you to know this. This is how he works me. He starts in, you know, just a little bit. Well, this is just an idea. I'm not saying that we should do this. I'm just saying, this is an idea. <laughs> And he knew what the response was going to be. He said, we could put up a portable building. And I go, whoop! <laughs> portable building? I can't handle this, you know? And I said some rude things about it. And, uh, <laughs> and he didn't respond. So that was that. We went on to other things. And in the meantime, I have begun to read this book. David Hawkins is one of the teachers, the writers and teachers that we have studied here for many years. And he has recently died last September, leaving behind his final book, which is called Letting Go. <laughs> Letting Go. Letting Go. And so I, with his process, Steve doesn't like this. I can, he's back there going, no, she couldn't have. <laughs> I have let go of that building, and I want Angie to know that I am open and receptive <laughs> to a portable building, if that's what we need to do in order to get a building for ourselves. So thank you, Dr. Hawkins. Thank you for letting me share this with you. You can do this, too. We already do this at PLC, the process that he talks about. As the emotions come up, as the feelings come up, they, I won't go into a lot of detail, but those are hidden, have been hidden in the bottom of your body for very, various reasons and when they come up what you do is you constant you know you pay attention to them you pay attention to them we call it the ID process you do the ID process on it and if you don't know what the ID process is come to any of the ministers or practitioners here we all know what it is we all have used it we all do use it so thank you for letting me share that with you, Dr. Hawkins.
Thank you.